Earlier this year, I waged war on the nasty, vile, ghastly little beasts that infested my farm. Stick with me and I'm going to share with you guys the arsenal I had at my disposal to finally get victory over them. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hans, and I'm inviting you guys into the barn because this was, this was, because it seemed like this was rodent central. I'd open the door, come in here to go feed the livestock, and I would have rats flooding off of the <laughs> hayloft on top of me, running down on me, and then uh, scurrying to get, get out of the way and get out the door. It was ugly, folks. It was ugly. So that's when I started going to the University of YouTube and seeing what other farmers were doing to control vermin like this on their homestead. So one of the first things I did was deploy the uh, spinning can in the bucket trick. Yeah, this is a, well, it's a bigger than a five gallon. I think it's an eight gallon bucket or a seven gallon bucket filled it with water. Put that can on there, baited the can with uh, peanut butter and seeds. Yeah, seeds from my grain. Notice these are metal. Keeps the rodents out. And this is what I feed my animals. And this is what they're after. So I put that with the peanut butter, hoping to attract them. Gauging by this video didn't interest them at all. It was a fail, at least on my homestead.
So the rodent population got bigger, and each time that came out here, it seemed like there was more rats running around. Bad, bad, bad. So I went and got some uh, traps, and I was successful to begin with. So one of the first traps I deployed was this trap. It's really easy to set. Put that down, and then the rat will take the bait. And somebody suggested even putting the bait underneath of it, so they'd have to get under there and try to get that bait out, and that would get them. But I've seen where rats would even take a stick and trip this and take the bait. They're smart little suckers. And then there's the uh, Victor little mouse traps I deployed because I did have mice as well. Bad problem. I even tried the Decon mouse house killer with a bait inside. No sign of anything nibbling on that. Nothing. Nothing zilch. So that particular product turned out to be a fail. <laughs> that was the mouse trap that just set off. <laughs> Now don't get me wrong, I was successful at getting a few click creatures with some of these. But then they stopped working after a while. They still function. But the creatures started getting more privy to this. There's the rat trap. <laughs> so in my arsenal, I added to my arsenal, I went down to the hardware store and I purchased one of these live traps because I was having a problem with squirrels and rats. So I wanted to get rid of those pesky little beasts. And this worked. Uh, I caught about six squirrels in this. So this works great for squirrels. I don't think they're that as smart as a rat. And I've only caught four rats in here. Those were, I guess, dumb rats. Or they were really hungry because I would bait this with something that was really yummy and I trapped them. And this was very useful here in the barn. Uh, on where I actually was able to trap the rats and in the, in the garden I trapped the squirrels. And then I did an estate cleanup. If you guys are wondering what these estate cleanups I keep talking about, I'll leave a link uh, to the uh, list, the playlist of all the estate cleanups that I uh, partaken in. I get a lot of stuff for free. I'm able to gift a lot of things away. But anyway, one of the things I picked up was one of these. It's a mouse trap. It's an interesting little mouse trap. You trigger it right here, you set it, and then a mouse goes in here and it triggers it and it flips it over into another depart uh, uh, compartment. And I've been using this and I've only had one success with it once. Here's the inside. You see the corpse of a rat in there? Yeah, it caught a rat. Uh, I guess they like small spaces. So this was successful. I've never seen anything like these before, but I have this added to my arsenal as well. But folks, I'm still having problems. Uh, I want to reduce these, especially when they started getting under the house. We'll get to that in a minute. But I went down, oh actually I received from an estate cleanup another trap. This is a larger trap. It's got two entrances where the creature forces their way in here to get the bait inside. I baited it with eggs, chicken eggs one night. And I thought I was going to get the rat that was eating my chicken eggs. Well, lo and behold, it was a skunk. Well, I did catch rats in here. I caught squirrels in here. This is a squirrel elator. Uh, there's the label on that. And then you can dispatch the beast just by setting them into the pail uh, that it comes with. That this fits down and you just fill it with water. And you can dispatch those beasts. But the skunk got in there. And to my advantage, um, it was during the heat of the summer and he succumbed to the heat. So... There was no stink. By the time I saw him, he was already had dispatched himself, and there was no odor, so I was able to. Uh, I got lucky. Put it that way, I got lucky. But this was another big piece of the puzzle in my arsenal to try to get a handle on some of these rodents that were inundating my homestead.
So let's talk about the house. I started getting uh, chewing and gnawing and clawing and scampering and little droppings being left around. Not good, not in my home, especially at night when I'm trying to sleep and I have to go to the work in the, in the next morning. I was furious. So I got Rat X and I tried that, didn't work. Uh, the Rat X is still under the house, untouched. They uh, coated it with peanut butter. They sucked the peanut butter off the Radex and um, discarded the <laughs> leftovers. So Radex for these rats in this colony does not work. It may work for other rats in other environments around the country and the world. But listen, folks, on my homestead, I'm doing the litmus test here does not work on my homestead. So I was having rats, mice, I climbed under the house, I was filming a video, uh, an episode under the house setting traps, and lo and behold, in the background, there's a squirrel that whisks by. Okay, now how are these beasts getting in? Aha. Uh -huh. So I figured I better at least first go and secure the perimeter of the house. So I checked all the access points, including my vents, and two of my vents had uh, been chewed through where the rodents were getting in and out. And the one vent, the hole was so big that the squirrels and rats were able to get in and out. So I was able to secure those breaches with this expanding foam insulation. So far it's worked well, except for the one by the line set where my cooling pump is. That sucker chewed right through that expanding foam insulation and got in. So I got some wire mesh screen, folded it up, and stuffed it in the hole. Haven't had a problem since. But now I'm getting desperate. I'm trying ammonia. I'm trying peppermint. I'm trying all the uh, concoctions and potions uh, that I'm getting from YouTube. Nothing is working. I need to get rid of these beasts. They're destroying my house and it's very expensive damage to my house. Not only, they're carrying disease. And of course, down in the house, we have these plug-in ultrasonic uh, devices that are supposed to scare or keep rats and mice away and bugs. They don't work. I've got two of them. They don't work at all. But I got victory. I'll show you what I finally got victory over with. And it's so simple and it's so cheap. And it's really nothing you need to do except for put it together, spend a couple of bucks. Yeah, let me show you. I got one of these containers in my little uh, access hole here under the house. I put it in there. And in the access container, I'll show you. Yep, it's just potato flakes, cocoa powder, and baking soda. and. Since I put that under there a couple months ago, untouched. That means there's no rodents under the house anymore. Yay! So, the active ingredient that I was very successful with was baking soda. Simple baking soda. I purchased this in bulk. I believe I got it at a uh, grocery outlet store that supplies to restaurants. They serve in bulk. Uh, or I got it at Costco. It's one of those two places. I bought two bags of it. I'm almost out. I'm going down for more because if I'm going to have some rodents next year, this is the go-to. I also, uh, like I said, I put potato flakes in there with baking soda and sugar and cocoa powder. And those are attractants. And uh, um, the what I understand what the potato flakes do is that the rodent ingests it. It swells up when it's, uh, it comes in contact with the fluids and the, it uh, stuffs them up and they burst inside. Well, that's, the, that's what baking soda does. Now, mind you, rats and mice don't have flatulence. They don't fart and they don't burp. The gas just builds up in them and they go poof. Uh, but this is safe for your other pets like chickens, ducks, geese, turkeys, uh, dogs, cats, if they should get into it. They fart. Have you ever heard a dog fart? Have you ever smelt a dog fart? Oh, man. So there's other solutions you can put with the baking soda. You can do baking soda and flour, baking soda and 
corn flour, uh, baking soda, and cocoa powder with sugar. Yeah, it's, anything is an attractant that is a feed to get in there, but you just need to get them to ingest the baking soda. This is the number one ingredient that I've had real success with. It's just finding a good, uh, um, um, a good um, attractant. Now, since the, apparently I don't have any more rodents under the house, so they haven't touched this, but we're gonna keep using this, but I'm gonna add some more stuff to this, and also this, because this was left here up here in the barn, and I found no evidence of rodents in the barn in the last month. So that is a strong indication that I got victory over these little beasts. Uh, another thing is somebody suggested is just add chicken bullion to your mix. Yeah, it's a good attractant. So go ahead and add some smushed up chicken bullion to get them to eat that. Something I'm going to try today, I went down to Dollar Tree and I got a pack of Texas style honey sweet cornbread mix. Okay, so you got corn flour, you got flour, you got sugar, you got everything for a dollar. And then you've got the baking soda. Mix it together in equal proportions. Put it in your traps and see what happens. I'm going to mix this up today with the stuff I already have. Just to bait and keep those little suckers under control. Plus, I'm also adding some bullion to boot. Okay, for this concoction, I'm adding a tablespoon of baking soda. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of this corn flour. Corn starch might work, but the corn flour has more of a substance to it. So you just wanna get that in there, mix it in really good. Yep. And then go ahead and add your bouillon. Oh, this is never, yeah. This is chicken bullion. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. Chicken bullion. Yes. Crush that up or grind it up, however I'm going to do it. And just, just use it as an attractant to get these critters to come in and uh, choose to eat this stuff. That way you don't have to worry about cleaning up a rat carcass. They'll just go back to their nest and they'll die. Uh, and if they're, of course, if you, they, they're in your house already and they die, you're going to have an odor in the, your walls. We experienced odor for about a week and a half, and then it dissipates. It just goes away. So, yeah, look at that. That is, uh, that is a feast for the last meal. And I'll set it right down here by the feed can. Actually, no. I'm going to set it over here by my bucket. We'll just set it right there. We'll set the rat trap down here. We'll set a couple of mouse traps. And this stupid little bait trap. We'll set this trap over here for good measure. And we'll put this trap in here. Now I did put some of the seed grain that I feed the goats in there. And let's try to set the squirrel trap, just for good measure. And we'll bait it with some grain too, just to attract the ghastly little things. And I'm gonna put up my trail cam to point towards everything, try to get everything in a view to see how much activity we have and if there's any success. Yeah, should do it. Okay, I think the job is done here. We'll be down to the house and we'll set this back under the house. I added those other two ingredients to this. And we'll put this back under here. Oh, yes. And since this place is a notorious entry point for the uh, rodents uh, and they can't get in anymore, if they show up again, I got the rat trap set. I pushed some peanut butter down in there. I'm going to set it down right here. And I'm going to put my 
cat cam wireless Wi-Fi camera on this and we're gonna watch it so I've had the stuff set up for 24 hours let's go in and see what the trail cam has picked up on the images and see if any traps were set just as I had suspected nothing because I think I got rid of all the rodents or at least diminish their population enough where the, uh, the local population that's left doesn't know that there's food in here. And I'm keeping it cleaned up, so I'm trying to keep the food away from them. Haven't had any problems with them coming off the uh, rafters anymore, the hayloft. So let's check the image. I love these trail cameras. These are great. Okay, go to review, go to replay, and nope, they're just images from when I left my camera out before, so there was nothing in the barn at all last night. Uh, but uh, soon after I set the camera up down at, or at the house and then as soon as we, you, that rat trap that we set up we put the camera on and it wasn't too much longer and my wife observed a rat meeting its demise in that rat trap so uh, the rodent population is diminishing by another one in the last 24 hours it's just good i'll keep my cameras going i'll keep my bait out i'll keep the traps baited and, and set and we'll just keep these things controlled around the homestead but i am still sticking to the um baking soda yeah that stuff really works I'll go ahead and leave a link for the um, Tascam wireless Wi-Fi camera on a review I did. And this is uh, my monitor where I can set this on my desk, plug it in, and sit there and watch to see what's going on. And here's the image I'm seeing right now. Yep. That's the rat trap. And it also has night vision infrared so it, it alarms if there's any movement it'll alarm and alert me that there's something out here so i can catch it and it'll record because the camera has an onboard little sd card and plus i can push record on the phone and it will record on the phone as well so turn it into a wildlife camera mm -hmm. so we got a camera in the barn we had a camera down here and then that is it in a nutshell it's a huge nutshell folks but i finally got victory over these ghastly beasts rodents no evidence of them for uh, at least for a while but it's something you just can't ignore you have to continue using different methods to try to keep these things at bay so try all those things uh change it up do whatever you can to uh safely get rid of your uh the, those nasty little beasts and the the baking powder or yeah baking soda and uh the other attractants are the safest to use around livestock and pets because it won't affect them well, I'm Jerry Hansen, your host here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm in my victory over rodents. Yes. Stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. That'll let you to new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up. Click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps out the channel. Hey, leave a comment, compliment, tip, tricks. I'm always looking for new tips on how to keep these things at bay. Yes, I got victory over them. Please be safe. Always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye-bye now.